In this video, I'm going to show you more through the lens comparison pictures of the Pimax 5K Plus and the Pimax 8K. But this time at maximum quality settings, Pi Tool 2.0 and also at maximum super sampling, the maximum super sampling rate that my computer could handle, which was 150%. And all of this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if this is your first time here, and if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Soon, for lots of Pimax backers, the moment of truth is going to arrive. They will have to make a decision. Should they go for the Pimax 8K or should they go for the Pimax 5K Plus? Now, in my review of the two devices, I had given a recommendation and my recommendation was go for the Pimax 5K Plus because the picture looks more clear since the panels are driven at their native resolutions and the picture is not downscaled and then upscaled like it is being done here for the Pimax 8K. But then, since in my review, I had only compared pictures at quality setting 1.0 and without any super sampling applied, people were wondering, does the picture of the 8K look better than the 5K Plus once super sampling is being applied and the quality setting are being cranked up? And how is it going to be with better graphics cards, with the 2080 Ti or probably later with the 3080 Ti or if you use two 2080 Ti, probably then the 8K will look better than the 5K Plus, especially in terms of SDE. So that is a very interesting question. To answer that question, I cranked up the Pi Tool quality settings to 2.0, the maximum value. And also on top of that, I applied the Steam super sampling to the maximum degree that my computer could still render the scene. And that was 150%. So how well did that run? Well, not really well. It was like one frame per second and it was really tough to make these pictures. So that is really the maximum that was possible. And even with 220 Ti, you won't get over probably 10 FPS with these values. So this is really something for the future just to find out what is the maximum quality that you can get out of these devices. And here are the results. And here it is again, our favorite monster from Steam VR Home, but this time at Pi Tool quality setting 2.0, the highest one, and also at Steam super sampling at 150%. So I'm not going to reveal right away which headset belongs to which picture. I want you to find out which picture do you like better. Picture A on the left or picture B on the right. Stop the video and check it out for yourself. So I'm not going to tell you yet which picture I find better, but I can tell you already now that I think both pictures look really, really good. And now we're going to zoom in. So compare picture A and picture B. Which one would you want to look at? Just make up your mind for yourself right now and probably stop the video again before I'm going to reveal which picture is which headset. All right, did you make up your mind which headset you wanna go for, A or B? If yes, keep on watching. If no, stop the video again. And the moment of truth, picture A is the 8K and picture B is the 5K Plus. So for both headsets, you see little screen door effect, but a bit more screen door effect with the 5K Plus, but the picture looks much clearer than that of the 8K. Look how blurry the 8K looks, even at the high quality setting and at super sampling at 150%. So still also at these high super sampled settings, I prefer the clarity of the 5K+. Plus. Now let's zoom out again and compare the pictures zoomed out again. Both pictures look great, but I do prefer the clarity of the 5K+, Plus over the 8K. And as you could tell in the zoomed in picture, there is not so much difference what the SDE is concerned. But now let's take a look at another pair of pictures that I took through the lens at these high quality settings. And again, it's something that you already know from my original review. So again, one of these pictures is the 5K Plus and one is the 8K. So which one would you choose? Would you go for C or would you go for D? Well, 
I would go for MRTV, but well, stop the video and have a closer look. Now that you've seen this, let's also zoom in here. And again, have a close look at the two pictures without knowing which picture belongs to which headset and make your decision. Which headset do you want to buy? Headset C or headset D? Time is up, so you should have chosen your headset and let me reveal which picture belongs to which headset. And again, on the left, the 8K and on the right, the 5K Plus. And I'm calling it here, the 5K Plus picture looks better. It's sharp, it's crisp, it's nice. And if you compare this with the 8K picture, well, it is not really sharp, it is kind of blurry. And especially have a look at lines 8, 9, 10. It's impossible to read or very, very hard to read on the 8K, but on the 5K Plus, you can still read it. And also have a look at the 8K, also at the same lines. You even have some kind of chromatic aberration there where you see some rainbow colors and we don't have that at all with the 5K Plus. So for me, the clear winner, also for the high quality settings in Pi Tool and Super Sampling, the 5K Plus. I really hope that this comparison was helpful for you and that it will make your choice easier. If you want to have a look at the comparison pictures yourself, I'm going to leave a link down in the description and you can download them to your computer. Now for me, it's crystal clear, just like the picture of the 5K Plus, I'm going to change my pledge from the 8K to the 5K Plus and then to get the real next bump in clarity, I'm going to go for the Pimax 8K X. So I really hope that this was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.